Hello everyone and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, is it aggro? So uh, this deck I found online looked very interesting and I'm not a big fan of aggro traditionally but when a deck has a new trick a combo up its sleeve, I really like to try those out. So the combo that is actually in this deck is Baral and Karizev. Uh, I don't actually know how this works. I, I, I've tried to play test it in the bot runs and I can never draw it. And so here is what I think it works. Whenever you cast a first instant or sorcery spell your turn or each turn, uh, you may cast a spell with lesser mana value that shares a card type from it with uh, from your hand without paying its mana cost. If you don't, you get a Ragavan uh, and then uh, gains haste. So, uh, you get a 2-3 rag event. So, that is... Not, the second part probably doesn't matter as much as the first part where you get a free cast. Well, how does that free cast work with Adventures? Because, uh, let's say that I have Baron carries it, right? And I cast, let's say... Uh, well, maybe not Stoke the Genius. But let's say I cast the uh, the Frolicking Familiars uh, Blow Off Steam Side. It's an uh, instant that does one damage. But is it an instant that does one damage? Because it says you can cast a spell that shares, uh, shares with a lesser mana value, right? So does that mean a lesser mana value than the one or the three? Because this this card is a technically a three mana value, as we saw in Fetch Quest uh, in the uh, in the in the uh, five color Cascade deck. So is that how it works? And also, it says you can cast one that shares a card type. Now I might be casting an instant spell, but its card type is creature. Does that mean I get to cast an instant speed creature on my opponent's turn? Is that how it works? Well, guess we'll find out. That's what makes this whole deck fun. Let's look at all deck lists. Now we have, uh, in the one drop, some card draw, some burn, typical is it tricks. We got four consider uh, for card draw and surveil, and we can use that to put the phoenix in the graveyard. We got one spell pierce just to catch our opponent off guard. Uh, and then we have four kumano faces kakuzen, the typical mono red degenerate goodness. And then we have four monastery swiss sphere, uh, monastery swiss sphere uh, to get that prowess, and four play with fire to burn our opponent's face. And then we have four Blood Feather Phoenix uh, to put in the graveyard. When we deal damage with basically all of our adventure spells, we can uh, then bring it back with one mana and it will be a 2 2 haster. And then we have four Lightning Strike, three Scalding Viper. I would like to have four. I, I don't have four. I didn't want to go craft a rare card. So uh, here's what it is uh, it's, the adventure side is two mana to bounce a non land permanent. And then its creature side is two mana to uh, whenever our opponent plays three, uh, a mana value of three or less, it burns them for one. And it might be relevant because we're an aggro deck. So then we have four Frolicking Familiar. That's kind of the heart of the deck, even though it's not that good of a creature. If we can try to get it off for free, or we can use a Blow Off Steam, and then uh, use the three mana 2-2 uh, two, two, two Flyer, it might be still something, right? And then we have two uh, Baron Karizev to uh, use that to try to get that combo synergy on. We have two Witch Stalker Frenzy, which also very works very well with Baron Karizev because we can use this uh, when we attack and then it will cost maybe two, maybe one, and then we can cast another instant uh, for a lot less, uh, that, that costs a lot less for free. And then we have two Hearth Elemental. This is a very great card because uh, the adventure side discards our hand and draws two cards. It's a card draw. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it might be good if we adventure away some of our cards. The Hearth Elemental can uh, basically discard our hand while we still have technically a hand in the adventure exile. Uh, but then uh, you can pay, play it as a 4-5 with just one mana because it costs one. It costs X less to cast. Where X is the number of cards in your graveyard that are instant sorcery and or adventure, which is basically all the deck. So uh, that's kind of the heart of the deck. Then in the land base, we're very aggro, so very land uh, starve. We've got 22 lands total. 22 lands total. And that's uh, four islands and six mountains. I saw this on the deck list and I wanted to keep that because we are more red than we are blue. So four islands, six uh, mountains, one Ottawa, one Sokazin, two Restless Spire. I don't think we should run more than two because these are tap lands and you don't want too many tap lands opening hand in an aggro deck. And then four Shivan Reef and four Stormcarved Coast. That's the whole deck list. It's pretty low to the ground aggro, kind of a combo trick, but let's see how that actually works out in standard, shall we? Let's take it at home, and we'll go to... See, I tried a bot match. Oh, I never draw it. Like, six games in a row, I would never draw it to carry Zeph, and then... Maybe I'll draw in, a, in an actual play, and it won't work, because I'll just get go for the throw. So, we'll, we'll find out what happens. Completing quests is the best way to earn gold. Mastery Pass XP and Mastery Orbs. You can cast a card that isn't actually in your hand. You will see. I hate that. That's alchemy. 
You can't do that. The whole thing on Magic is that tokens, uh, card tokens are not real cards, so you can't put them in your hand. And whatever, whatever. we got to blow off some steam here. Uh, let's, let's do that. Keep, that's a good enough hand. Hello. Uh, we're not gonna consider, so... We're just gonna blow steam off on him. Kumano, huh? You're gonna do that one damage to me? Well... I'm gonna do that one damage to you! Haha! <laughs> Alright, I wish I had used the blood... Uh, I had the... Uh, consider now. Well, you never know these things. Do we bounce the Kumano? Put him back a turn? Uh, what do we do? We can't really take out a Felden, right? So, let's bounce the Kamano. Mono red opponent, game one. Faking Elspeth. But we're technically faking combo player too, but I'm trying to play combo here. Kamano again. I just give him that one damage. Double Kamano. Yikes. E-I, E-I, ouch. Alright, well, let's see if they want to burn. Why? Why would you do this to me? That's also not what I wanted to play. I wanted to play the Viper. And it's fine. I don't think we will be able to do much, because uh, our aggro is not as aggro as their aggro, and they... Uh, they had a better draw than we did. Maybe. Depending on what they have this turn. I mean, if they have Squee, I'm just gonna Squee. I'm just gonna Scoop. Felden, that's a 4-4. Four, four. That's pretty scary. They do have something, it feels like. Alright, time for us to scry a little bit. Yeah, I'm not an aggro player. I'm not actually sure what I should be doing here. Do I need a land though? I have a lot of plays, but is a land going to be helpful? What can I get? Uh, I do want a Viper. That would be very helpful. Would I get a Viper? No, I get a Kumano. So, there's two Kumanos attacking me next turn, and I'm not really quite sure what I can do against those two attacking Kumanos. So, that's lethal. Too aggro for me. So, I have obviously could have played that game better, but I actually don't know if it would have mattered too much against a burn opponent with the hand that we have. Uh, the biggest problem is uh, against Felden, because we don't really want to burn Felden and give him card advantage, which in an aggro versus aggro matchup, card advantage is actually a huge thing, since uh, if I use my burn against his creature, then he can use his burn against my face and I'll die. And uh, if I give him more cards while using my burn, that's obviously not great. I wish I had Browbeat in the deck. Uh, nep, nep, nepi, nepi. That is our opponent's name. And we draw Baron and carry Zeph. What do you know? Opponent goes first, though. So uh, our aggro hand means nothing when opponent goes first. I'm gonna keep. Okie doke. Do we. Swiss Sphere? What are we gonna do next turn? I guess we can drop a Swiss Sphere next turn. And then... yeah, it's fine. Always come on on turn one, right? Because he can cut it down. Uh, we'll drop a Swiss Sphere next turn if they have a cut down. We can buff it. If he has a go for the throw, we can't do anything about that. He does have a cut down. Do want that? That's a land. Get underneath a cut down is pretty good, but now we're kind of out of cards. Are we though? We do. We do have a scolding viper to bounce whatever they have next turn, if they have something next turn. It looks like it's soul tie. Interesting. If they don't play anything, that is even more questionable. But hey, you know. Go for the throw, okay. We cannot carry Zed this turn, but we do have Frolicking Familiar and play with fire, so we can do that. 
on our opponent's turn. We have four mana now. It's getting scary. This only deals three damage. But we do have a bouncy bouncy, so let's see what actually happens. Maybe they're holding up counter spell? I don't know. Against a burn deck, I wouldn't do that. I want them to counter this. Actually, no. I can only cast one of these two. Not enough red. Thanks, deck with the ample amount of mountains. We we'll get we we'll get blue. We have a cut down. Um, I need another land next turn. Kumano's great, but having another land would help a lot. That is not a land, so Baron carries that will probably just die. The Viper, on the other hand, will it die? Hmm. They have three mana. They seem to have a lot of removal so far. Will they run out of removal? I don't definitely don't want to drop this on this turn. Uh, yes. We'll enter. I still have a consider. Maybe I should have considered this turn in order to get that land drop. Trespasser. That's pretty annoying. Okay, that's not what he should have been targeting, but I guess he's trying to get the life gain. Anything else? This doesn't fly, so it doesn't do much. He has one blue, one green mana. I will pay. I I don't want two of those, so guess it can go. A spell pierce. Not a land. Still can't do it. Okay, we could take out the graveyard trespasser. I guess it's something. Uh, well, drop the hearth. Yeah, it's. It's gonna look looks like it's gonna take a while to cast, so I'm pretty sure they all have creatures only, so I don't know if the spell pierce will actually catch anything. But Hey. Maybe I will catch something. Force them to pay it, tap out. It's not much, but I'm already running out of cards. So Kazen... I mean, I could do it! I get a Ragavan. So... You know, it's something. Take one! More damage. Ragavan is legendary, so it doesn't last... Or I can't get a second one, but... Oh boy, is it good. How do you like this modern play, huh, Ragavan? Oh no, Shieldred. Okay, well. That changed a lot of the equation. Sleep Curse Fairy. This fly? This doesn't fly, right? It's just first strike. Oh boy, there's a Shieldred. Uh, if I double attack with the Restless Spire, um, I would get four damage through, and he'll go to four. And I'll have two creatures left. Well, top decking the land here is beautiful. This is a perfect moment to do that. So the rest of Spire. When it attacks, I scry one. Fine. Fine. That's probably the only play anyways. Probably the only play that matters. Wow, 
Wow. I mean, I guess. I would block the Baron carries F. It's a pretty good effect. I don't know. Maybe he has a removal, though. That's probably the last thing he wants to do. Okay. Blocked Ragavan. <laughs> sure. He does a 4, so I'm not killing him yet, but... Lightning Strike will do its thing. Unless he has... One more counter spell, I guess? Fairy Mastermind, that's... Not what I expected, so we can't actually untap. So he's got two creatures. And... I have three creatures. Right? I have three creatures. He can't do anything. He can make me draw a card, but... This is fine. We still aggro him through the shoulder? Oh my god. He can draw a card. Brings me down to 8, which doesn't kill me. He gets to draw 2 cards, so he will go up to... Uh, if he draws 2 cards, he goes up to... Oh boy. Uh, if he draws 2 cards, he goes up to some number. I mean... I don't know why I'm thinking. There, there's no nothing, no way I can get out of this. So we'll just slowly do this. All right, he is killing the restless fire. I am drawing a card, and he's drawing two. I think Fairy Mastermind was a pretty good draw to get him out of that. Now he has three cards in his hand, and I've got nothing. Should I have killed a Shieldred then? With the Lightning Strike? Well, I had to attack there, right? So, I don't know. If I just attack and he just activate the Mastermind without doing anything else? Right, let's put a stop on our upkeep. Whoa, he's attacking! Do we want to cast a spell for free? No, we definitely want to scry. I don't know if there's any spell that we would cast that matters. No, can't get through a children. That is annoying. Another mastermind? Are you kidding me? Alright, that's GG. I won't play this out. That's really annoying that it happened. We, we were so close. Uh, that's kind of how you play a lot of aggro games, though. Uh, you would get close, but... Depending on who goes first, sometimes there's no cigar. We did not go first that game. But hey! Is it Adventures, Baral Zev? That's what I was thinking about. Like, it looks like a cool combo, but how do we get that card advantage on our side to actually get it to work? And uh, we, we were short on the land, on a land, for a while. Uh, opponent goes first. That's a pretty bad hand for opponent goes first. We get a Swiss Sphere, but we can't cast Swiss Sphere till turn two. And by then, how good is a Swiss Sphere? I guess I could cast pretty much this whole hand. Alright, fine. Let's try it. I don't know what world where our opponent going first could give us a chance. I, I've been playing uh, Arena this whole week. And I think I've gone first maybe three times out of the 40 games i played. Um, yeah. When it's 3 out of 10, and you can argue that, hey, maybe it's just luck. When it's 3 out of like 40 or 50, you know it's rigged. I mean... When people play Arena, I honestly think you gotta talk to the dev and ask them 
Why are they making the game this way? Oh, a spire. Okay. Well, that's going to come in this half anyways. This is the five-color deck. Unless they're Naya humans, which, I mean, maybe. You can't actually stop a Naya humans. If this was a mountain, maybe I could blast off their Skrelf, but... No, it's not Naya humans. Alright, Kumano? Kumano. We're like two turns behind, but Kumano anyways. Hold up a spell, Pierce. Maybe I'll catch something. Topiary Stomper. Not catching that. Stomper's a bit slow, though, so we might be able to get underneath it for a few more damage. Right, so, but what are we doing this turn? We're definitely uh, Swiss Fearing, and then we are probably considering. Okay, so we're definitely Swiss fearing. And we're probably considering. Do I need another Kumano? I have a land to play next turn, so I guess the Kumano is better than a lot of things I can play next turn. No invasion for you. Drop your land. And we'll go to the next turn. And we're off. Do we... Yeah, we blast the frolicking. They go to six mana, which isn't seven, but they can still have Sunfall. I'm gonna put a stop here. Oh, well, that's a pretty good card to top deck, don't you think? Against our aggro strategy, kind of the best card they can have. We have a mountain. We go to main. Uh, the creature we play this turn will be. Very cheap, but see, we can burn it for two. We can't even bounce the Archangel. Alright, we don't want that. Now you know what? I'm gonna get out of here. There's an Archangel on board, can't get rid of that. This is a deck just has not been performing. I thought it would. Because uh even with mono red, like you don't miss a beat, but with this deck, it seems like we're missing all the beats. That's annoying. But there, there is a reason why we're losing every one of these games. And that reason is we'll go second. Now, that's, that's always my problem with the aggro decks. Is that you can't win if you go second. And Arena cheats you so that you always go second. And also, what the hell's going on? Who's going first in Arena if everyone's always going second? And as soon as I say it, you go first. Alright, so... They gave us a first game out of pity, and let's see if our pity meter will work. We've gone first once uh, with the pity meter, but even then, I don't think it worked that well. Okay, well, very bottleneck on red this time, so what do we got? A Swiss Fear? Do I want another Swiss Fear? No. Everything I have is blue. Alright, everything I have is red. And I got two... Well, one and a half blue mana. So that's... Yeah. Or is Ossification. More blue mana. We'll frolic with you. It's not great. Won't even let me attack. It's not great, but... It's not like I had time to blow off steam. Spellbook Vendor. 
Okay, it's a 3-3. What do we do against a 3-3? It's Vigilance. Uh, you may pay one and then get that, so... This is a waste of uh, mana, right? Carry Zip, though, does not get anything through, so... I guess we'll have to waste this mana. If we draw a land here, it would have mattered. But it doesn't, so... We'll just push through with a little bit more damage. The Exile might matter, but what matters more is one more land. I, I know I only earned 22 lands in the deck, but I've seen Mono Red that just kind of have 20 lands and always draw lands when they need to. You really only need four lands. Uh, well, four lands on the board in this deck to really do stuff. And I've always got capped out at three, and somehow I keep getting islands, which, as you know, is extremely frustrating when you especially have more mountains and islands in the deck. Alright, what does this do? Enter the battlefield, create a wicked roll. Okay. I'm gonna put a stop here. In case they don't kill Baron carries it, I'm pretty sure they will. Four mana though. How are they gonna kill it? Right. There you go. That's a way to kill it. Another vendor. Does have enough to pay though, so... Well then, I don't need to do it right now, right? Another Shiren Reef. Wait, if I attack here... No. If I attack here, this is gonna be 2 damage. Not worth it. He might have a Shieldred. Can't actually cast this until I attack. Then it costs three. Another ossification. Just ossification all, all day long, right? Another lore skitters. If you control, okay. Draw two cards. No. Ha! <laughs> okay, well. The lands decided to come a little bit slower, so. They could write. That will remove my board. Now I have nothing else. They do do that. Do they have one other play? They do not. All right, I got a, I got a lowly little phoenix here, and one other land in my hand. I'm gonna keep that land in my hand as a bluff. This is my problem with playing aggro. Even going first, like when you need it, you start drawing lands, and everything just feels bad. If you look on paper, right, this whole deck has synergy, it should work, and it does work when other people play it, but look at this. What the hell is this? My one spell pierce comes at the latest time possible. With all of those removal, I could not cast. Now, what are you going to do? Play Kaya? I already can't burn them anymore. Gain that three life. Take out that three life. We'll put the familiar on board. I don't think it matters too much since uh, if they wipe the board, we just die. Okay. All right, we got we got through. Thirty minutes in, we got through one game with aggro. And that's kind of my problem with the aggro deck. Uh, we never really get to see Baral, because uh, 
it's, we're not playing EDH here. That it comes in and just dies. Everyone has four removal in their deck or more. So yeah, we need to have way more lands in this, and then the, that combo won't be as good. We got Zebra off attack with the with the oh, actually it's carries F. We're attacking with Ragavan, but can't get over Shieldred with that. And that's what Witchstalk Frenzy was for, but we don't draw it. So we draw Witchstalker Frenzy when our opponent has no creature on board. And we draw no Scalding Viper when our opponent has Shieldred. So yeah, that's me being salty about this old deck. It's kind of how you play aggro though. So uh, if you play aggro, you're gonna get pretty salty whenever you go second. And unless you're mono red, the game is gonna make you go second all the time. It's fun though, it's it's fun. It's You're playing this game for fun. So. Uh, Throw all the cards on the board and see what happens. That's kind of what aggro does. Now, I do think this is way more fun to play the mono red. Even though you don't win as much, there's more like dimensions to play and more things to think about and what you will do and what are, what are some potential draws. It's not just, oh, I'm going to draw a lightning strike and win. But there's uh, the restless fire for scry instead of using it for mana. There are spell considered that you can do on your turn to buff Swiss Sphere versus doing it on your opponent's turn to uh, draw cards underneath their control spells. And there's a lot of things that you can think about when you play. And, you know, that's what makes magic fun. I know a lot of people don't think about that anymore and they just want to play red and win game, but... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about different dimensions and different theories before the game can be an actual game. But you know, that's just me. I do think this deck is a lot more, one of the more fun versions of aggro. And I think you get, you really get bored of playing uh, the best aggro. I think is Esper Legends, and I, you get bored of playing that because it's the same every time. You just try to land turn one scroll. So this is slightly different. There's probably so other variants that is focused just on cards like Frogging Familiar, Comboing Wood, Baral, Carry Zip, and maybe I'll try to make a deck with that. But this is what this deck does currently. Alright, that's all I got for you. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.